Hi and welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to highlight multiple cells that are non-adjacent in Excel and understanding why would you need to highlight cells that are non-adjacent in Excel. Okay, here we are. We are going to use our uh, Excel spreadsheet that we have created together to answer today's question. So let's go ahead and look at the question. So the question is asking us to highlight cells in column A, C and E. Making sure you don't highlight the cells in column B and D. Okay, very interesting question. The second part of the question is asking us why would you need to do this? Okay, so let's have a look at this question again. Asking us to highlight or select. Select and highlight means the same thing. The cells in column A, C and E, but not to highlight column B and D. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's asking us to highlight column A, C and E, but not to highlight the cells in column B and D. So, basically asking us something like highlight these cells, highlight these cells, and then highlight this range of cells. But as I'm doing it, you're probably noticing the other previous highlighting disappears. So it's not working. So I'm not doing it right, am I? Not working. Okay. There is a way and I'm going to show you this. The first thing you need to do is highlight the first set um, of range of cells, which in this case column A. And then what you have to do is hold down the control key on the keyboard and then using the mouse you go ahead and you highlight the next range of cells. Now while keeping the control key down you carry on with your selection and you probably notice it is working. So now you can see column B, column D, the cells in these two columns are not highlighted. It has only highlighted column A cells, um, cells in column C and cells in column E. So it has worked. I'm just going to show you um, one, one thing. Now just to make it clear, I'm going to show you a picture of the control key. Just in case um, some of you may not understand what the control key is or where it is located. So this is the control key and it is located on the bottom left hand side. So this is the key you would need to hold down. I'm just going to show you one more time. So I highlight the first cells in column A. I hold down the control key which is this and then I highlight the second um, set of cells in column C and then the last cells in column E. And once I am finished, I let go of the control key and the selection is done perfectly. You can see again column B and column D are not done. That's what the question is asking us to do, to select column A, C and E and making sure you don't highlight column B and column D, the cells of column B and D. And that is exactly what we have done. So this is how you would do it. Now this next part of the question is asking us why would you need to do this? Now there could be a number of reasons for this. The first thing is that you can carry out, let's say, different formatting to this um, three set of cell ranges at the same time. So for example, let's say I wanted to make this set of cells bold, italic and underlined. 
But if I wanted to apply the same formatting to column C and column E, I could do this at the same time. So I'm going to show you this. So if I highlight column A, C and E using the control key, and then if I wanted to make them all bold, italic, underline, let's say I wanted to change the font color to green. Um, let's say I wanted to shade them in red. These are just pure examples. What I've done, I've done all of them in one go. Now this is saving you a lot of time. It's going to be accurate. You know, let's say you wanted to apply the exact same formatting that's in this range of cells to this. If you don't highlight them both together and do it at the same time, you may forget something. You may forget to make uh, the font color green. So this is one of the main reasons or reason we use or we select um, multiple cell ranges at the same time so we can carry out the same task on them at the same time. So I hope uh, you've understood everything I've mentioned in this lesson. I hope you've, uh, you've got a good idea now because in the next lesson, you will be carrying this skill over in terms of being able to highlight multiple cells that is not together, which we call non-adjacent. The word non-adjacent simply means two sets of columns that are not together. You can see, for example, A and C are not together. The B is in the middle, in between. We refer to that as non-adjacent cells. Just like generally what the English word means, non-adjacent simply means something that is not side by side. So uh, I'm going to stop here, um, the end of this lesson, and uh, I hope to see you over in the next lesson. Please don't uh, forget to like and share if you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will join you over in the next lesson. You take care until then. Goodbye.